All right, guys. I'm gonna work on this uh, tap handle. It's Mark Winter, number three. I couldn't really find anything online. Doesn't matter. Uh, these things are valuable. Just uh, finding them junk is a good deal. It's got a screw here. I guess you can remove this. Uh, I don't know what you call it here. I, I, I don't know. So I'm not going to suggest what it is. But this is it's locked up. And now I've had it setting with some WD 40 penetrant in it for shoot, four or five weeks now. I haven't really got to it. So. I'm gonna put it in the vise, put a screwdriver in the end of it, and try to break her loose. I've got just a dollar or two in this thing, so these things are valuable. And this is a big, heavy one, too. So let's go to the vise and see what we get. All right. I think it ought to come free. We got this old junky Klein that I haven't cleaned up yet. So. Oh, check that out. Coming loose. I hope this is how it's supposed to do it. Oh yeah, it's moving. I can see it in there. Hang on. Put a little more. Just a couple more drops down in there. I was hoping I could get this thing out. Stiff. Rusty, rusty, rusty. There we go. It does come out. Oh, check that out. Oh, looky, looky. Okay. There it goes. All right. So that just slides. Well, it's doesn't like it. It's dirty. It's rusty, rusty. I was going to put this in some rust remover. I think I'm just going to use the wire wheel and some carb cleaner and just clean it up a little bit. All right, let me uh, switch tables here and we'll uh, clean this up a little bit. Yeah, I think the best bet, just throw this on the wire wheel and see what we come up with.
there's a screw down in there and it has been soaking forever and I cannot budge that screw so I don't want to damage it anymore and I really don't need to get this piece out because this slides in there so that's my locking piece and I'm not going to change this out I don't have any more pieces to change out so let's uh let's go to the wire wheel and see what it looks like which for some reason it doesn't want to go this way as easy as it does this way huh is there damage here there might be some damage on the inside right on the lip have to look at that under the magnifying glass up really good winter number three and it does have initials I M C O I believe it turned out not bad looking little unit threads with a little carburetor cleaner and just a little piece of washcloth. Actually it looks in really good shape. I wish I could get this screw out though. It really stinks. Try different screwdrivers and and like I said this thing's been soaking for ages now weeks yeah it just doesn't want to budge maybe if after I clean it I can just drop some oil in it and just leave oil in it and let it sit for four or five more weeks maybe it might uh, some penetrating oil maybe it might break free I doubt it though usually people when they do things like this they uh, they over torque things more than they really need to be now what do I do so do you give this a polish or blue it I don't know. It's a nice little tool. I could leave it like this. I mean, turned out pretty nice. Let's see, there was a nick or something. For some reason, yeah, if it's it's just got a spot where it it fits pretty good though. Slides real smooth. It's got a little bit of indentation right there. It's been used. Here, I'll show you what I'm talking about. I mean, it's got a little wear, but that's nothing that I would really worry about. I mean, I could take a file and clean that up, but I don't think there's any need to. wondered what this thing would look like blued might be better just to blue the silly thing I think I think this might have been blued or black had some black on finish to it it's hard to tell with all the rust that was on it 
All right. I think I'm gonna blue it. What the heck? Be right back. gonna turn out but I'm going with it anyways I could I put it on the uh, f the fiber 1 by 30 belt and what my plan is my plan I put some bluing in a little in the cap I'll dump it out keep from cross contaminating I I gotta blue it, but I gotta rinse it. But I'm thinking this is not gonna take very good because there's a gap, a slight gap around there, and I think water is gonna get in around that. But let's see what the bluing looks like. Boy, it took quick. Hmm. It's amazing how quick this stuff works. got gloves out put on and I forgot to put them on well that stinks oh well nobody died from it Should have polished this more and now the more I think about it you know how you do something sometimes you think yeah you screwed up oh well we'll see how this works I can always I can always polish the bluing off I guess Trying to hold it from the inside. I don't have much in this. I think I got, if I got a dollar in it, maybe. I pick up anytime I find tap and die stuff, I pick it up. It's just uh, chase, clean holes. You just, uh, this stuff gets so expensive anymore. It's just not, uh, you just can't. If you see it, you can't leave it set on the table or in the shop, you know, especially if it's a good price. You just can't let it go. All right, let me stick this in some water and rinse it off. Oh, I bought some 4 out steel wool. Let me go get the 4 out steel wool. I'll be right back. All right. Let's get this 
swap them out. I got a bucket of water over here. Now, clean this off. Four steel, that four out steel wool works really nice. Gives it a nice little sheen. Better than that coarse stuff I had, that two coarse stuff. this other one out. Sorry, I'm not talking. I'm paying attention to what I'm doing. I'm trying to make this look nice. I think it's turning out pretty nice. cold blowing, nothing fancy, turning it uh, more black than anything. It's really, really nice black. And this 4 aught wool makes a difference compared to that other stuff I was using. And I think that was one aught. clean this off and uh, put one more coat and then I'll show you what I get. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think I'm done with this. I'm going to put just a little bit of grease on this threads here. 
just for one I don't I won't be using this a whole lot and if I do I don't want it to rust up inside there and then I'm gonna put a little bit of grease on the inside here in the uh, receiver part of it it's trying to like bind up wonder why hang on a second I wonder if I got too much uh, between the grease and the uh, steel wool fibers in there. Hang on a second, I'll be right back. I'm gonna clean this off. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there you go. And it is, it's tight, it still turns, but I don't want to, I don't want to mess it up anymore in there. I don't, I don't know, it's, it's got a little bit of a bind to it, which I'm not sure why, but it, it turns, that's, that's all I'm worried about. IMCO, I don't know if that's company name or uh, someone's initials. And the, the black, it did, it's not really blue, it's more black. And it is a winter number three. So, not bad for a dollar or less. I don't even know what I got in. I'm pretty sure I don't have much of anything in it, but it's a big one too. I don't have one that size. That's 15 inches, so. And that's at, uh, what, about halfway? I bet I could probably extend this handle out a little further. But anyways, not bad for a cheap little tool. And, and I do like this. Uh, someone might ask for this bluing. That's what I'm using. I kind of like this stuff. Birch wood, super blue. Uh, some metals, it will kind of turn it blue, and like this metal, it turned it black. I mean, black. And then, and then with the fine steel wool, the four out steel wool, it polished it up pretty good. Even me handling it, you can see I. I'm wearing off some of the it needs to dry better. I've been I've been playing with it, so <laughs> probably should have left it alone. It may stay darker, but now it's starting to polish up a little bit. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, there you go. Old junk tool, someone, you know, see either someone passed away and someone had some tools, didn't know what to do with it, and left it in a bucket of water because this thing was rusted. And uh like I said, I can't get that screw out. Uh, I will put some penetrant in there and just stand it up and let it sit for a few more weeks. Maybe it'll come loose. If it doesn't, I don't care. I'm not taking this piece out. Don't need to because this receives the taps. So, yeah, it works. It's functioning tool for you know, less than a dollar. I don't know what these things are, how expensive they are. Last time I priced a cheap set, it was like $75. And it wasn't one this nice. Didn't have a handle this nice in it. So, anyways, ladies and gentlemen, give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. Tell me what you think. And uh, I kind of like the bluing stuff. It, uh, it, it's about the same amount of time bluing as it does polish if that helps anybody. But yeah, this with the knurling on there, I thought it'd look good instead of polishing it. It looked good after I got it off of that uh, fiber belt. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, 
that's all for today. It's getting late. I'm getting tired. So y'all have a good day now. Thank you.